Welcome to another cloud computing video from explainingcomputers.com. Cloud computing is where software applications, data storage and processing capacity are accessed over the internet. To explain how this works in practice, in this video I'm going to examine the three ways to cloud compute. The three building blocks of cloud computing are Software as a Service or SaaS, Platform as a Service or PaaS, and Infrastructure as a Service or IaaS. All of these allow users to run applications and store data online. However, each offers a different level of user flexibility and control. In basic terms, SaaS allows users to run existing online applications. PaaS allows users to create their own cloud applications using supplier-specific tools and languages. And IaaS allows users to run any applications they please on cloud hardware of their own choice. OK, that might right now still be as clear as stagnant pond water. So let's work through it again in more detail. Software as a Service, or SaaS, is the easiest way to cloud compute and is where off-the-shelf applications are accessed over the internet. So, for example, Google, Microsoft and Zoho each offer an online word processor, spreadsheet and presentation package. There are also some great creative SaaS tools, including Pixlr, Jcut and Avery, as well as dedicated business applications from employees NetSuite and Salesforce. The advantage of SaaS is that all applications are free or charged on a subscription basis. SaaS applications are also accessible from any computer on the internet and are excellent for collaborative working. This said, in business there are many situations where a generic application will not suffice. Platform as a Service, or PaaS, provides an environment and a set of tools that allow users to create their own new online applications. For example, Google have a product called App Engine that enables anybody to develop, run and maintain their own web applications on Google's infrastructure. Microsoft also has a PaaS offering called Azure that allows users to develop and run Windows applications in Microsoft's region of the cloud. Salesforce is also a big player on the past landscape with an offering called Force.com. Both Google App Engine and Force.com also currently allow one application to be built and hosted for free. All pass offerings allow users to create new online applications very rapidly at low cost. Such applications may also be used privately within just one business or made available publicly. This said, adopting PaaS is restrictive technically, as it limits developers to the programming languages and other tools that their PaaS provider has on offer. There is also the risk of vendor lock-in, as applications built on one provider's platform cannot be moved to another. Infrastructure as a Service, or IaaS, allows a business to run whatever applications it requires on a supplier's cloud hardware. This means that existing applications can be migrated from a company data center in order to reduce IT costs. The fundamental unit of cloud infrastructure is the server. Today, servers can also be physical or virtual. Physical servers are discrete individual computers. In contrast, so termed virtual server instances are software controlled slices of real physical servers that are shared amongst many users via a process called virtualization. Depending on the types of servers involved, IaaS comes in four categories. Firstly, there is the most secure and costly option of the private cloud which is where a specific number of physical servers are dedicated to one customer. Secondly, we have dedicated hosting, where a customer rents physical servers on demand 
with the cost and number of servers always matching their requirements. Thirdly, there is hybrid hosting, where a mix of physical servers and virtual server instances are rented on demand in an effort to reduce cost and further increase flexibility. Finally, we have cloud hosting, where a customer rents virtual server instances on demand and often on an hourly basis. Several companies are now operating in the IaaS marketplace. For example, Amazon offers a number of cloud hosting products that enable a variety of virtual server instances to be purchased by the hour. These can be launched in minutes using an Amazon Machine Image or AMI configured either to customer specification or containing software from Oracle, Sun, IBM or other suppliers. Alternative IaaS providers include Rackspace, who offer all hosting categories from private clouds to cloud hosting, and GoGrid, who offer cloud hosting, hybrid hosting and dedicated hosting solutions. Anybody wanting to understand cloud computing has to get to grips with its fundamental building blocks of software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. More information can be found on explainingcomputers.com forward slash cloud or in my book, A Brief Guide to Cloud Computing. But now that's it for another video and I hope to talk to you again very soon.